Hello guys! Welcome to Matuto with Sir Mark Dilay. For our today's video, our lesson is about solvable groups of trigonometric substitution. But before that, don't forget to subscribe. Matuto with Sir Mark Dilay. We have here the trigonometric substitution given in the following format. The first one, we have x is equal to a sine theta. If that's the case, we will be using the substitution of the square root of a squared minus x squared. For x equals a tangent theta, we have square root of a squared plus x squared. For x equals a secant theta, we will be using the square root of x squared minus a squared. Don't forget, that a is constant and here are the steps that we are going to apply in our topic first identify the trigonometric substitution to be used second differentiate the trigonometric substitution third substitute the new integral then integrate and last we have to evaluate the angle Let us have our examples. For example, number 1, we have here the integral of x squared dx all over square root of 4 minus x squared. For our first step, identify the trigonometric substitution. It is written in the form square root of a squared minus x squared. If that's the case, we will be using x equals a sine theta, where in 4 is equal to a squared and 2 is equal to a. Let x is equal to a sine theta, substitute the value of a, which is 2. Then find the derivative of x, we have dx is equal to 2 cosine theta d theta. Let us find again x squared, we have 4 sine squared theta since 2 squared is 4 and sine theta squared is sine squared theta. Square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to the square root of 4 minus 4 sine squared theta. Factor, we have square root of 4 times the quantity 1 minus sine squared theta. Simplify using the Pythagorean of 1 minus sine squared theta, we have 4 cosine squared theta. And the square root of 4 cosine squared theta is 2 cosine theta. That is the value of square root of 4 minus x squared. Now let us substitute the given. The integral of the value of x squared is 4 sine squared theta. The value of dx is 2 cosine theta d theta all over the square root of 4 minus x squared is 2 cosine theta. 2 cosine theta divided by 2 cosine theta is equal to 1. Therefore, the new given is integral of 4 sine squared theta d theta. For integral of sine squared theta d theta, we have 4 integral of, we will be using the identity before, sine squared theta d theta is equal to 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2 theta d theta. 4 times 1 half is 2. Integral of d theta 4 times negative 1 half is minus 2 integral of cosine 2 theta d theta. Let u is equal to 2 theta. du is equal to 2 d theta. 1 half du is equal to d theta. Therefore, we have the 2 integral of d theta is theta. We have 2 theta minus 2 integral of cosine u times 1 half du. 2 theta minus 2 times 1 half is 1. 2 integral of cosine u du is equal to sine 2 theta. plus c. So, um, let us uh, delete the integral sign. Therefore, we have 2 theta minus sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos sine theta using the double angle identity plus c. We're not yet done. We have to find the angle. We will be evaluating the angle. In order for us to find the angle for 2 theta minus 2 sine theta cos sine theta plus c, we will be using reference angle. Using reference angle, 
we have here x is equal to 2 sine theta. That is our value. To find the value of sine theta, divide both sides of the equation by 2. Sine theta is equal to x over 2. Our numerator is x. Our denominator is 2. We will be using the idea of Sokatoa, sine opposite hypotenuse, cosine adjacent hypotenuse, tangent opposite adjacent. Therefore, our angle theta will be located in this angle. So we have here the angle theta. Then from this angle theta, we have sine theta opposite, that will be x, over hypotenuse, that will be 2. Therefore, this will be our angle. And the remaining side will be square root of 4 minus x squared. Or simply, you may use the idea of c squared is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared. So again, we have your square root of 4 minus x squared. So from our result, 2 theta minus 2 sine theta cosine theta plus c, we have found sine theta, that is x over 2. Next, let us find sine, uh, let us find the theta or the angle that will be arc sine as x over 2. So, meaning to say you have to divide both sides of the equation by sine, it will become the inverse. Then, let us find cosine theta. Cosine theta is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, here, what is our adjacent angle? The adjacent angle from the theta is square root of 4 minus x squared all over our hypotenuse is 2. Therefore, the value of cosine theta is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared over 2. Again, we only need the value of theta, sine theta and cosine theta to substitute it to our given. 2 theta, that will become 2 sine raised to negative 1 or, or arc sine x over 2 minus 2 times the value of sine theta is x over 2 and time the value of cosine theta is the square root of 4 minus x squared over 2. Let us all simplify the given. We have 2 arc sine x over 2 minus x times the quantity or times square root of 4 minus x squared all over 2 plus c. Therefore, this is our final answer. Let us have our second example. The integral of dy over square root of 16 plus y squared. Since it is written in the form, it is written in the form square root of 16 plus y squared, that will be equal to square root of a squared plus u squared. Since a squared is equal to 16 and that is our constant. Or we can say that the value of 16 is our a squared. So, let as have a squared is equal to 16, therefore a is equal to 4. Let y, since we will be using y with respect to y, let y be equal to a tangent theta since we have the sum of these two items. So we have y is equal to the value of a is 4 tangent theta. Then let us find the derivative of y. We have 4 secant squared theta, d theta. Therefore, the square root of 16 plus y squared is equal to the square root of 16 plus from y equals 4 tan theta, our y squared is equal to 16 tangent squared theta. Now, let us simplify. We have the square root of 16 times the quantity 1 plus tangent squared theta. And 1 plus tangent squared theta using our um, identity is secant squared theta. Therefore, we have 16 secant squared theta. And the square root of 16 secant squared theta is equal to 4 secant theta. And that is our value of the square root of 16 plus y squared. Let us now substitute. The integral of substitute the value of dy, that will be equal to 4 secant squared theta d theta all over the value of square root of 16 plus y squared is 4 secant theta. Secant squared theta divided by secant theta and 4 divided by 4, that will be only equal to secant theta d theta. And the integral of secant theta d theta is ln absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c. And now let us find the reference angle. We only need the value of secant theta and tangent theta. So here is our angle theta. Since y is equal to 4 tangent theta, we can find the value of tangent theta and that will be equal to 
tangent theta is equal to y over 4. And from Sokatoa, our tangent is opposite over adjacent. From this angle, our opposite side, that will be y, and our adjacent side, that will be 4. And the hypotenuse will be the square root of 16 plus y squared. So again, we will be using the idea of Soka Toa here. So tangent opposite adjacent. And let us have here again square root of 16 plus y squared. Now, um, let us have another value. Let us find cosine theta. Why do we need to find cosine theta? Because cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and that is 4 over square root of 16 plus y squared. And we all know that the value of secant theta that is equal to using our piatos, secant theta is also equal to 1 over cosine theta. Therefore, pagbabalik na rin natin ang value ng 4 and square root of 16 plus y squared to find the secant theta. We have square root of 16 plus y squared over 4. Then substitute the value of secant theta and tangent theta. We have ln, absolute value of square root of 16 plus y squared over 4 plus the value of tangent theta, y over 4 plus c. And um, we can write it in this form. ln, absolute value of square root of 16 plus y squared plus y plus c. Okay, let us have the last example and we have here to identify or evaluate as well the value since the given is the integral of x cubed dx all over x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves, upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 over square root of 3. Therefore, we have x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves is equal to x squared minus 1 times the quantity x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half. That is also same as x squared minus 1 times the quantity square root of x squared minus 1. And x squared minus 1 is written in the form x equals secant theta since we have square root of x squared minus a squared. And our x squared, that will be equal to secant theta. Um, secant squared theta. Then for our x cubed, we have secant cubed theta. And the value of dx, since the value of x is 1 secant theta, we have dx is equal to secant theta tangent theta d theta. And x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves is equal to secant squared theta minus 1 raised to 3 halves. And secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta raised to 3 halves. Tan squared theta is equal to what value? Let us identify using the identity. We have tangent um, cube theta. Then, let us substitute the integral of upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 square root of 3. We have here x cubed is equal to secant cubed theta. The value of our dx is equal to secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. And our x squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves, that will be equal to tangent cubed theta. So tangent cubed theta came from tan squared theta raised to 3 halves. We simplified it. Then divide tan theta and tangent theta. Therefore, the new given is equal to upper limit to lower limit of 2 square root of 3. We have secant to the 4th theta since secant cubed theta times secant theta is secant to the 4th theta d theta all over tangent squared theta. We divide tangent theta from numerator to one tangent theta from denominator. That's why we have tangent squared theta. New given, we have integral of upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 square root of 3. We have tan raised to negative 2 theta secant squared theta secant squared theta d theta. Tatas natin ang tangent squared theta and that will become tangent negative 2. Then pagiwalay ng secant to the fourth. Now, new given, tangent raised to negative 2, secant squared theta is equal to 1 plus tangent squared theta, then times secant squared theta d theta. From the previous lesson, u is equal to tangent theta, and du is equal to secant theta d theta. 
the integral of upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 over square root of 3, we have tan raised to negative 2 is equal to u raised to negative 2, 1 plus u squared, since tan squared theta is u squared, du. Then we have u squared, u raised to negative 2 times 1 is u raised to negative 2, and u raised to negative 2 times u squared, that will be equal to 1. Therefore, let us find the integral. We have negative 1 over u plus u, upper limit of 2 and lower limit of 2 over square root of 3. Let us now evaluate. We have negative 1 over tangent theta, that is the value of u plus tangent theta, upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 over square root of 3. Let us continue working using the reference angle. Our angle theta is here. So since we have tangent theta is equal to the square root of x squared minus 1, we can say that tangent theta is also equal to um, what value? That will become equal to x equals 1 secant theta. And secant theta will be equal to x over 1. Oh, therefore, cosine theta is equal to 1 over x since that is the inverse. Then, we have here square root of x squared minus 1 and 1 over here and our hypotenuse will be equal to 1. Since cosine is opposite which is 1, then hypotenuse which is x. Then the remaining side will be square root of x squared minus 1. Then after that, let us identify our tangent theta since that is what we need in our um, answer a while ago. So let us find tangent theta. We have here equals negative 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 plus that because the value of tangent theta is equal to um, square root of x squared minus 1. So we have to substitute. Then we have negative 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 plus square root of x squared minus 1 all over 1. Then upper limit of 2, lower limit of 2 over square root of 3. Then let us substitute um, by finding the given value here by substituting the upper limit and lower limit. After substituting, the final result will give us 2 over square root of 3 plus square root of 3 minus 1 over square root of 3. Then the result will be 1 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over 3. We have 4 square root of 3 all over 3. Therefore, this is the final result for our given. Let us out try not cry. Sorry for the typo over here. Please try to solve the, the following item. Good luck!